Uh, trying to debate with a friend, what do you think is the better surname, McEwen or McAllister? Well, it depends on uh, whether you're in a famous poem uh, or whether you're a national brewer. There we are. So there you are. If you're a national brewer, I would say McEwen's a very good name. If you're part of a very famous poem, then it's McAllister. Yes, I rapped upon the palace door. Open the door, I cried aloud, McAllister is here. And then throughout the palace rang with one tremendous cheer. <laughs> Did you know that Britain was not majority challenged at sea for over a hundred years after the Battle of Trafalgar? Of course I did, Robert. I am an expert on command of the sea, British naval history. Yes, indeed. So what battles did we have? Let's have a look. Cape St. Vincent, Camperdown, the Battle of the Nile, Trafalgar. Then you had the battles on land. Uh, Leipzig, 1813, 1812, 1813, uh, Waterloo, 1815. You see, and all that was part of the European wars and the wars at sea because Britain had to get command of the sea. Now, I'm slightly anxious about Lord Nelson's signal on the morning of the Battle of Trafalgar, does anyone know what it was? He flew the signal flags up on HMS Victory, his flagship. It was the flag officer. There we are. Is it Roman Road? No, it's not. I don't think it's Roman Road Magnus. But it could be. It's one just further down, I think. I know Roman Road. It's the one that joins... Bears Den with Milgai. It runs out to the Allender Centre. Yes. Uh, so there we are. So yes, of course, Robert, I know that. It's a shame Britain doesn't rule the waves anymore. We don't rule anything nowadays. And it was us Scots who ran the empire for them. It was. And if you can ever get your hands on a book by um, a... Now, wait a minute. It's a superb book. It'll come back to me. Michael Fry, The Scottish Empire. Get a look at that because the Scots ran the empire. And the reason the Scots were so successful as administrators is because they didn't buy into the class.